Okay, Mike, this is the V1 transmitter I had sent back to you and told you that it had a problem. You said you tested it and that it uh, tested out fine. Well, I'm going to make a short video here and show you exactly what it's doing. What it does is it, if you hook it up and just cycle a couple of servos, it seems to work fine. But as soon as you use more than a few servos at the same time or more than a few channels at the same time, it's almost like it overruns the PPM stream and it causes the transmitter to actually stop transmitting information and all the servos will stop functioning. And I have uh, a few top of 10C here. It does the servo tests and with the servo test I can cycle all the channels at once and that'll show us exactly, uh, exactly how it fails. Now to show that it's not just a radio issue, I have another V1 here. Um, this, these are both upgraded to the uh, the newest firmware, the v, uh, the newest firmware for the V1s, and this transmitter works perfect. Um, I don't have any problems with this one. It'll cycle all the servos flawlessly with no problems. So, um, if you bear with me here, I'll get it set up and we'll get going, and I'll show you how the how the test goes. Now, on the transmitter, I have a module that I've made that has. Uh, velcro on it and the clip so I can plug it in and unplug it as I need so I can swap back and forth between transmitters without having to really fight with the radio and change anything I can just hang them right on the velcro and I have a, a plug where I can bring the wire right out of the bottom of it now the resistors are in there as necessary for the Futaba to get the light to come on and to also get the proper PPM so um, for time constraints I've already calibrated the receiver to the transmitter so I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up this is the extension that goes to the back of the transmitter so I'll plug that in and um, I'm using for this test I'll be using the short rubber ducky antenna and two high-tech servos and this particular receiver and a short receiver antenna okay so we'll turn the transmitter on got a good PPM signal we got a nice green light there um, I'll go ahead and turn the receiver on it's already been bound so it should connect got it connected it is functioning the servos as it should so now I'll go into the Futaba and go to the servo test okay you can see that and as soon as you watch the servos as soon as I start this to test the servos well it failed immediately that time um, usually it'll run for a second and then fail this time it failed right off the bat so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and if I cycle the power on the receiver and turn it back on it won't make any difference it still won't the servo still won't function anymore Okay, the only way I can get the servos to work again would be to cycle the power on the transmitter, which is which is cycling the power on the the uh, Dragon Lake transmitter. So when it comes back on, you see the servo twitch, and now the servos will work again. Now, if I go back into the servo test, okay, and then I cycle the servos again. So it'll work for work for a little bit and then they failed again okay now you can see in the test that it's still trying to cycle the servos I cancel the test exit the servo test and and they don't work anymore okay and again if I turn the transmitter off and then back on and now they work again now I can I can wiggle the sticks as crazy as I want just on two channels and it'll do fine of course I'm not talented enough to work all the channels at the same time but as soon as I go into the test and cycle all the channels at once you know it's uh, eight channels it, it that failed immediately okay so that shows that this transmitter definitely has a problem now to show that it's not something in the setup that I have here on the bench I am going to now change from this transmitter to the one that I know works. 
And if you give me a minute, I'll switch that over and I'll show you. Okay, so we'll turn that off, turn the receiver off, and change, change to the transmitter I know is good. Okay. And I have actually flown with this with this Dragonlink transmitter. Okay, so we'll take the short antenna, put it onto this transmitter. Okay. So we'll go ahead and um, I'm gonna have to bind it. So we'll set this one. We'll set this one right to the side. Okay. So I'll go ahead and uh, take it into the bind mode. So, power on, so it's micro mode, and then bind mode, flashing green, so now it should bind, turn the receiver, same, same receiver, turn the receiver on for a minute, let it bind, turn, turn everything off, and then back on. Good PPM, receiver's on, and it's connected, okay? So, you know, we are now bound to the, to the transmitter I know works. So, we'll go through, we'll do the same test. We'll go into the servo test, okay? We start the test and the servo cycle. And I haven't let it run all day, but I've let it run like this with this transmitter um, for over an hour at one point, and they, the servos kept working fine. Um, now this says, uh, this was this has been calibrated and everything also so it's it's uh, functioning the best it can but it'll run like this all day I'm sure with no problems now this one would have already failed by now I don't uh, exactly know what it's doing wrong my suspicion is that there's something wrong and it's um, overrunning the PPM stream in some manner when it uses more than uh, just a few channels it causes it to fail that uh, should give you a, a pretty good idea on what's going on. You know, I can go ahead and shut this off. So we'll turn this off. Exit out of this. Turn everything off. Turn it off. We're going to swap transmitters again, so we'll take this transmitter off. Okay. We'll go back to the transmitter I know has a problem. Put the antenna back on it. Same antenna, same plug arrangement, same servo, same receiver. Plug it in again. Go back in. Okay, back into bind mode. Turn the receiver on. Should allow it to bind. Off, off. Transmitter back on, good green PPM, receiver on, it's connected, servos work, okay. Servo cycle, servo test, and yes, it failed right off the bat again. So now it won't work again until I recycle uh, the power on the video uh, on the transmitter. Okay, that should uh, that should demonstrate it well enough to where you get an idea of what's going on. Hopefully, you can fix it for me. Thanks, Mike.